it has been 10 minutes. I'm about to soon take it out. You see how that chicken floating to the top? That's how I know it's a blind person that the chicken almost ready. So I'm going to give it about two more minutes. I'm going to take it out. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Your favorite person in the kitchen, the bearded blind chef. Oh, y'all know me as Zeke. Y'all see what I got in front of me? I got a whole chicken right there. And I'm sharpening my knife. Y'all say, how does blind man sharpen a knife? Well, I can do all this. I want me some fried chicken. And I want all parts of the chicken. So, I'm about to cut this whole chicken up. And I'm about to show y'all how I fry chicken, y'all. All right, I'll be right back. Let's cut this chicken up. I got my, let's cut this wing off first. So I like to catch, I like to put the chicken on the back right there. So I can catch that muscle right there underneath that on. And go like that. I know where the joint of the bone of the chicken at. And I'm gonna show y'all of me cutting this wing off of this chicken. And I turn it back like that. Cause I like to have a good little piece of meat on that wing. So sometimes I get a little piece of that breast. Yeah. Like that. That's the wing socket right there. I'm gonna cut it right there. Y'all see my wing? Look at that. There go my wing. Put it in the pan. I be doing chicken anatomy. Got the wing off. So see, got the wing. Now let's get this leg and this thigh off. So take your knife. And you see where this chicken joint right there? Put it right there in that crack right there. Right there. And go down. Blind man teaching y'all how to cut a chicken when you want to fry it. Put it right there. Look, look at that. Right there in this joint right here. Look, that's the joint of a chicken. Look, right there. Take your hand and feel. I'm not gonna cut myself here. Right there. It's that joint right there. And watch this. Watch when I cut this piece of chicken right there. Bow. Bow, look at that. Leg and thigh. Leg and thigh. Then, I'm gonna celebrate this leg on this thigh right here. So, that's the joint right there. Put that chicken right there, cut it right there in that joint. Like that. Make sure I'm feeling the joint right here. So I can turn it this way, get that same joint. Go like this. Go around that joint. Look at that. Bow. That go my leg, that go my thigh. Alright? All right, now see, all you got left is the torso. All you got left is the breast and the back. So, on the side right here, if you take your finger and feel, there's a little part right here where the knife can go straight through. I gotta wash my hand, see? I can take that knife and look, go straight through. Go straight through like that to separate. Watch this. And right here, by the neck. That's it. Look at that part of that breast and that back separated. Do the same thing to the other side. Find that little piece right there. Take my knife. Go through there right here. So now I want y'all to go home and practice how to cut up a whole chicken. And it's cheaper if you sit down and buy a whole chicken and watch. Go right here. Now look at that. That's the back, that's the breast. I'm gonna separate this breast into two pieces. And I'm about to get my batter together, y'all. 
And there go my chicken all cut up, y'all. Now, when you mess it with chicken, take your cutting board and wash it real good with some um, soap, water, and some bleach. All right. All right, y'all, you want to season your chicken. Whatever you season your chicken with is also what you're going to season your flour with. So, right here, I'm going to put... Now, this part is no measurement. I don't know what to tell y'all. You just got to measure the way you measure. Right here, I'm going to put a little bit of Slap Your Mama. I say a teaspoon. Teaspoon of Slap Your Mama. This is what I put in mine. I put a teaspoon of Greek calendars. Seasoning. So I put a teaspoon of that. I'm going to put a teaspoon of my pink Himalayan salt. About a teaspoon of that. I'm going to put me about a teaspoon of um, onion powder. That's it right there. I'm going to put me a teaspoon. This is garlic powder. There's gonna be a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to put me some black pepper. So maybe a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to put me some pepper. Maybe about a teaspoon. Okay. So I take all that. I'm gonna stir all this up. Now I'm about to season my flour. Right, teaching y'all how to do old school fried chicken. I got some self rising flour. You can use regular all purpose, but I like using self rising. I'm gonna do cup number one. I'm gonna do two cups. Two cups of self rising flour. I told y'all everything you season your chicken with, you also want to put in your flour. So I'm about to put in them two cups of um, self rising flour. I'm about to put some. A tablespoon of um, slap your mama. I'm gonna put about um, that's about a yeah that's about a teaspoon and a half of Greek calendars. I'm gonna put me some Himalayan salt. About, a, about that much right there. I'm going to put my onion powder, about a tablespoon of onion powder. Let me take this off my garlic powder. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of garlic powder. Put that in there. All right. Let's put our, um, what this is? Oh, let's put our paprika in there. Let's just put that in there. We gotta say that's about a teaspoon of that. Like I said, you gotta season this stuff to your taste and put your black pepper. Let's put about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. All right. All right, y'all, as you mixing your flour up, it's okay to taste it. So I'm about to take my clean finger right here and I'm about to put it right there. I'm about to taste my flour. And it's seasoned enough. Now, let me go wash my hands. All right, I got my all over there, heated on the stove. I'm gonna bring my camera over there. So I'm about to just take my chicken and go in and put it in the flour. So it can already be coated and I'll shake it up. Put your chicken, put the chicken in that flour. All right, y'all, I'm about to sit there and see if my grease ready. Let me get it. Let me, there we go. There we go. All right. I'm about to put my chicken in there. All right, y'all. Oh, I got my phone moving. I'm sorry. Hope, hope y'all can see in the pot. All right. I'm shaking my chicken off. I'm putting my drumsticks in first. I'm going to be deep frying this chicken, y'all. That's why I got enough oil in there. Make sure you have enough oil to cover the chicken up. That's a drumstick. Put my drumsticks, my drumstick. I'm going to put my wing, my wing right there. I'm going to put me another wing. I know I don't mess with grease that much, but I want me some damn fried chicken. Where my other wing at? Blind man trying to find a damn wing. Put my other wing. 
All right, be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, got my chicken in the pot. Now, I'm going to do how my grandmother told me back in the day. I'm going to fry my chicken with the top on it. All right. All right, y'all, took the top off. And look at that, it's been 10 minutes. I'm about to soon take it out. You see how that chicken floating to the top? That's how I know as a blind person that the chicken almost ready. So I'm going to give it about two more minutes. I'm going to take it out. Yeah, buddy. And I don't even mess with grease like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been 12 minutes. And then flow it to the top. I'm about to take it out. All right, y'all. Just put my second batch in there. And that's my two chicken breasts and my back. Uh, I'm going to leave the top off. Of, I'm, I'm going to leave the top off to fry this. Now, it's going to take a little longer to fry my chicken breasts. Um, I'll let y'all know when it's ready and how many minutes it takes. All right, y'all. Just turn my grease off. And I had my chicken breast frying for about 12 minutes or so. Since we deep frying, so. Look how pretty that is. Let me do it like that. See, I'm real careful with grease. Put it over here on my pan. Let me get the other one out of here. Let me feel for it. Put it over here on my pan. And let me get my back out of here somewhere. All right. Look at my chicken, y'all. Do y'all see that chicken? Y'all want me to do a taste test to prove to y'all that that chicken is cooked through? <laughs> the blind beard chef, he cooked y'all some chicken. This the old school way. See, you don't need all that buttermilk and egg if you don't want to. Even though I do, I do like to do the buttermilk too, but this is old school, the way my grandma taught me. Let's taste a piece, y'all. Y'all see me fry my chicken. Yeah, I know I couldn't, eat fry, I couldn't eat fried chicken by itself. I made me some potato salad and I made me some green beans and some cornbread dressing to go with my fried chicken. I wanted me a drumstick and a chicken breast on mine. Can y'all see my plate? Can y'all see my plate? All right. Hey, y'all. What's up, my good people? Yeah, it's Zeke again, as I call myself. The bearded blind shell. Gotta call myself something. <laughs> hey, y'all see me fry that chicken? Y'all ain't never seen a blind man fry chicken before. I told you I can do anything. I can bake. I can boy, whatever. There's enough about me. Let's get a piece of this chicken. Y'all wanna see my chicken cook? Y'all think it's cooked? Oh, y'all don't think it's cooked. Let's see. Mmm. Look at that chicken, baby. Look at that chicken. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. I can't, I can't keep y'all long. Y'all seen the blind man do it? Go fry you some chicken, y'all. <laughs> God bless y'all. Take care. I'm going to eat. Bye, y'all.